So you may be saying to yourself, hey, for 50 bucks more, why wouldn't I buy the At Games but Legends at pinballs? Games. Because then, hey, all of my Zen tables could be brought over and I could just play them there. I wouldn't even have to bother with with that. Oh, but guess mm. what? You'd be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> You'd be that's wrong. That's a nice idea. But uh, yeah, that's there's a little problem and it's called the EULA. Isn't yeah, it, so as soon as the <laughs> announcements were made with this, uh... Zen Number went of ahead. Swift actions there, but, <laughs> online. Yeah, Zen went ahead and uh, tweeted out a little something, and I'm going to I'm going to share that with you all. Let's see. We're going to go over here. Hey, look at those. Well, we don't need to see that anymore. What we do want to see, though, is this this little tweet stream. This little tweet stream. So, Zen writes to our DIY pinball community thread. We thank you for your continued support to help our uh, games take our games to new heights through your innovative creations. We wanted to let you know we will continue to make our games available on a case-by-case -case basis for your inventions, but we'll draw the line on any non-approved commercial platforms as they may be in breach of existing EULAs. For which I immediately hopped on and said, in other words, uh, don't put FX3 into cabs that earn money or don't put it into cabs that don't have a license with you because, hmm, were they talking indeed about... Uh, at games, at games here. And mm. the response then from Mel, entirely and unequivocally <laughs> directed at at games gaming, and I know they see this and know what I am saying. <laughs> Just wow. in case you were wondering, uh, that, that yeah. left nothing to be uh, <laughs> to be questioned. It was like slap. <laughs> yeah, this is directly at you. This is an open letter. Basically, only to you. <laughs> and then, <laughs> At game and then it even gets better because after I said uh, thanks for qualifying or clarifying, um, Mel yeah. continues. If there's any question about it, At Games is not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> and so yep. I said they need to put Ooh. some ice on that burn because yep. damn, that's that's a solid <laughs> burn. That's that's they're not stuffing around. No, right? that was yeah. it's like hello. So clearly. Zen went, hey, competition, uh, no, we don't want it's people like, doing that. Competition's great if they play by the rules. If they play by the rules. And, and they said that all along. Remember our interview with uh, John D and Mel ages ago when we were talking about um, uh, cabinets in general, and they said, you know, it'd be really nice if everyone just played by the rules. And that was way back then. So they knew all the way back then that this was probably going to be a problem. Yeah. Uh, so here we are, and they had a prepared statement ready to go as soon as they saw the news. They would have been sitting on this until such time as they announced. And if I'm not mistaken, currently the only people that have license with Zen would be Arcade One Up and VP Cabs. Um, I hmm. don't know if they're still available that full size uh, virtual cab, the, other sure than either. VP Cabs. I can't remember what it was, uh, it was USA Vertigo, Pinball or something like that. Yeah, they had like the Vertigo. Cabinet. No, that's VB Cabs has Vertigo and has a yeah. regular full size, but there was one mm. other company that um, uh, was making it. Uh, oh, yes. And I'm not 100% sure if that still is in existence. Uh, we can clarify that with, with Mel also. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so me and Jared decided maybe we should uh, take a look at the old EULA and see what yeah. it actually says. So yeah, put you know, on your lawyer caps, nothing... folks. And yeah, we should caveat this this uh, discussion right up front, saying that we are not lawyers. <laughs> this is not an official analysis of the EULA for at games benefit. Not but we're, we're really, really good at speculating. Now. <laughs> so what we did is we dumped the the EULA into a Google Doc, and we started looking for key terms like non-commercial and uh, like other terms like that. And there was a fair few mentions of non-commercial. Uh, in this EULA that you all sign when you uh, start playing the game. Uh, it's but the none of us ever anybody. read. <laughs> no. So now, by virtue of this whole conversation, you now get to look at the pertinent parts of the EULA with us to get a little fireside EULA chat. Yay! So here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. All this right, is not folks. what you're expecting, probably. 
But hey, look at that. It, it is the Zen Eula. Well, let's just skip through some of this until we actually get into something that... Uh, oh, where's, hey, where's, look at this. Where's, Licenses. Where's this Software license. Particularly, one copy of the software for your personal, non-commercial use non-commercial for gameplay use. on a single computer device or gaming unit. Hmm. Hmm. So... So... One copy of the streaming... software... On a yeah. single, so, for use on a single computer device or a gaming unit. Now, obviously, if you're using Steam, you can use Steam on multiple computers, but you can't use Steam at the same time on multiple computers. It's only ever mm-hmm. one at a time. So, yes, yeah. you could have the software loaded on you know, your laptop and on Eight your own PC. Yeah, but you can only play the game on one device. Exactly. So that was the that was the first thing that stood out to us. Let's uh, let's keep mm. on going here. Um, yeah. Then we get here to oh service license. There is the idea of non commercial use, uh, and then the uh, licensing terms that we accept uh, is that the uh, install or otherwise use of software and or services and ends on the earlier date of either your disposal of the software and or services or ends termination of this EULA. Your license terminates immediately if you attempt to circumvent any technical protection measures used in connection with the software and or services or you otherwise use the software and or services in breach of the terms of the EULA. So and again... If Zen has put in factors that don't want it to be streamed or transmitted to some other device, and you choose to do that, then you would be in violation of the EULA. My understanding, now some people were saying, how is it that uh, at games would be in violation? And I don't think any of this is necessarily at games being in violation. I think it's warning that you, the user, could be in violation. And you may be asking, well, how is Zen going to ever know that I'm in violation of this? Well, one of the key features of Ad Games is the ability to stream directly off their unit mm. uh, for content creators. And, and I imagine that would be a giant red flag. <laughs> there's actually a clause in the Yula, which we'll get to, directly aimed at cre- like creating yep. your own content from the game. So... Let's let's, let's keep on going, folks. One. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, more, more, more. That's down further. We haven't even got past the first couple of pages. No, yet. we haven't. <laughs> we okay, let's see what this says. You shall not use the Zen services in any manner likely to cause confusion or doubt in the mind of the public as to the ownership and control thereof, or in any manner that does not make clear the Zen services are owned and controlled exclusively by Zen and its licensors. So again, heavy emphasis on licensors. Licensors, yeah. licensors being VP cabs, being arcade one up. Yes. Not being at games. <laughs> mm. So if as you, far as we're aware. As far as we're aware. But, so if you are causing confusion in terms of what you're oh, we're offering on, FX3 on this cabinet, it's fully supported. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. And where where some of the at games announcements got into trouble was where they said, yes, you'll be able to stream Zen to it. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was interesting that at games specifically said, you can play Bally and Williams titles so long as you own them prior on uh, Pinball Arcade. But I thought, I was like, I wonder if the mere mention of the Bally and Williams, that that they're not even allowed to that's say confusion. that. That's confusion. Well, that's confusion. Because, you know, the license holder currently is Zen Studios. Yes. So, if the, you know, that's, again, a point of confusion. So that's... And Games is planning on doing uh, leaderboards. And they gave a number, I think it was 38 tables that will have the leaderboards on them. And if you do the math, that's all the Stern and all the Gottlieb. None of the Williams Mm -hmm. and Bally's. So, uh, obviously, they knew enough not to go that route. Um, But anyway, let's dive some more. Here we go. General licensing conditions. Uh, You agree not to commercially exploit the Zen services, distribute, lease, license, sell, rent, lend, convey, or otherwise transfer or assign the Zen services, any copies thereof, or any passwords, usernames of Zen services without the express prior written consent of Zen set forth in this EULA. Um, and for online use or on more than one computer or gaming unit at the same time. Again, that's kind of uh, that's general legal talk that we figured, but 
Hey, yeah. any commercial use is prohibited. Um, blah, blah, blah. I think that... You can read it. Like, it's basically saying anything where you're getting money for this service. Exactly. So um, don't put it onto a cab that can accept quarters. <laughs> yeah, don't. Unless it's been explicitly discussed right. with Zen prior to doing so. Exactly. Yeah. Kind of like the machines that they're putting into your Dave and Buster's. And Dave things. and Buster's. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so again, that's just kind of the general, I'm sure that everybody's EULA looks exactly like that. Um, mm. user-generated content. Here we go. You represent and warrant that any user-generated content you provide does not and will not violate any third-party intellectual property rights. That right there, again, third-party, there's Arcade 1-Up. If you're streaming and it's not being using uh, theirs or Steam's or PlayStation's or Xbox's, you're going to be in violation. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you may not upload or post any user-generated content that infringes the copyright, trademark, or other intellectual property rights of a third party, nor may you upload any UGC that violates any third party's right of privacy or right of publicity. Again, mm. who knew all this was in here back in, I think this is from 2014? Yeah. 2014, 2015? Dang, lawyers, they cover their bases, don't they? They don't <laughs> muck around. They don't no. muck around. Um, no. Keep on going, because at some point, it's going to make sense why this actually affects you. Um, ah, here we go. Zen may suspend, terminate, modify, or delete any Zen account at any time for any reason or for no reason. Hmm. Because so, you don't actually own the software. You are leasing the software. That's like the very first thing that the uh, the EULA says. Um, hmm. You're leasing it. And so at any time, they can go, mm, nope, it's yeah, gone. No. See ya. See yeah. ya. So again, this comes down to, if you are publicly making it obvious that you are playing this on something like the Legends Pinball, and Zen finds out, they can go, you don't have rights to play this game anymore. And you have breached your EULA and you have. no more. This is why you can't have nice things anymore. <laughs> mm. More, more, more. Uh, payments and virtual. Any and all virtual goods are licensed to you on limited personal, non-transferable, non-sublicensable, and revocable basis and limited only for non-commercial use. Again, that's kind of standard. Um, yeah. What you'll find in these things, scrolling down some more, blah, blah, blah. See, there's this. Yes, I actually read all this. I can't believe I read all this. It gets painfully and, boring. And it's, it's different. It's very interesting because that's all in capitals. Yeah, and the right? rest of it's in, in sentence case. So that's unusual in itself, right? Terms concerning platform operators. Provided that you comply with the terms of this EULA, you are acquiring and Zen grants you a personal, limited, non-exclusive, and non-transferable license to install and use the Zen services on authorized devices for personal, non-commercial use. Hmm. That's basically saying that when you say, hey, Zen, I want a cab mode, and they ask for the photo so that you can show them what you plan on playing this on, that they have the right to go, mm, yeah, we're cool with that, or mm, no, sorry, not nah. that. Yeah. And as Mel's tweet said, specifically, yeah, we're aiming this directly at <laughs> the, yeah. the Arcade's Legend. Uh, the Arcade's Legend. The Legend's Pinball. Yeah. Okay, we're almost done with these, uh, all this lawyer talk. Uh, scrolling down, scrolling down. Where is the next batch of fun? Uh, at least I think there's some, something else. Oh, no, you, you know what? We reached the end. How about that? We're that done. was it. That was it. So there you go. It wasn't that bad, was it, folks? <laughs> no. You were thinking, oh, you're like, Geo. <laughs> I hope Joe put some skip marks in this segment. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's interesting to read it because, you know, who really actually reads the EULA? I certainly don't when I sign up for something because, you know, usually you don't need to worry about the license agreement unless you plan on doing something dumb or something wrong. Yeah. So if you're just playing the game for your own personal enjoyment, then you will never be in breach of it. But if you're doing stuff slightly on the edges, then you might want to just reread that EULA 